electronic hearing protection and why you should have some, and which ones you should get. I'm Bob Main. I'm Ben Branham. We are the Modern Handgunners. Thanks for watching. And today we're going to talk about Ear Pro because we all use it on the range. I bet you have a bunch of them lying around that you either like or you don't like. We're going to see, and really this is uh, spur of the moment, off the cuff. Yeah. So we actually have the stuff that we've been wearing all day on the range while we've been shooting. And I have another set that I keep in my bag that I use all the time. And um, that's the only ones we have out here because this is what we actually use. This is what we actually use. Uh, I highly recommend, I'll go to this camera first. I highly recommend electronic ear protection. We've had students that come with non-electronic ear protection, uh, which is okay. Uh, and ear protection is all rated differently. But let me first of all talk about electronic versus non-electronic. Um, the, the nice thing about electronic ear protection is, especially when I've got it all turned all the way up, it, it amplifies the sound around you, but of course gets rid of the gunfire noise. Not gets rid of, but brings it down to a safe level for you. The reason I like when it amplifies the conversation around you is as an instructor and a student, I've noticed two advantages of that, Ben. First of all, as a student, I can hear the instructor. And I can hear what he or she is saying, and I can hear it well. With the non-electronic version, you know, I'm like, huh, what, what? I, I, I got to get close to them to try to hear what they're saying. I, I can stand way back here, you know, and, uh, and Ben can not. call me all kinds of names and I can hear it, even though he thinks I don't hear it. Um, the other thing about electronic as, as an instructor, as an instructor from an instructor point of view, is I, I, can, I, can, I can hear a lot of what the students are saying to me. Now, if you go to a public range, if you go to a public range, I think the electronic ear protection is also better because think about when you're at a public range, right? You're in this building, 8, 10, 12, 15 lanes. The amplification of the sound lets you hear what the person three or four or five lanes away from you is saying and doing. And let me tell you, that's very important. Um, indoors, indoors, you might want to turn down your ear, uh, ear pro a little bit so it doesn't amplify so much or you might want to before you put your electronic on put the ear plugs in first and then put your electronic over the ear plugs because indoors obviously yeah, the guns make a lot more noise but I just like Ben I like being able to hear what's going around with the electronic ear protection How about you I do too, and uh, actually me and Bob have been using the same one, these Impact Sports from, uh, is it Heidi, Heine, something? Uh, Howard. Howard Light, I think. Howard Light. Howard Light Impact Sport, uh, uh, Academy Sports and Outdoors for about 40 bucks. I say everybody has them, you can buy them on Amazon, this is something you should, you can buy on Amazon, it's super cheap. Um, Academy Outdoors, most of your ranges have them. They're normally about 40, 45 bucks at Amazon or um, the other stores, if you go to our range, they're about 80 bucks. Yes, they have a huge markup, but they're still worth the 80 bucks. Um, some of the other ones I've had are three or $400. Um, these are great. Uh, a couple things I really like about these is they're comfortable. I can wear them all day. They're not that big a deal. They're not a really fine adjustment. They turn on and they turn off. They turn off by themselves. If you leave them on for after about five or six hours, they'll turn themselves off. Um, I've had this set for a couple years and I think I replaced the batteries once. It was kind of a pain in the butt, but it's really not that bad. Yeah. Um, but one of the things I really like about these is a student and an instructor. So the microphones are right here on the front. So if I want to hear everything in front of me, I can put them on the front and I can hear everything in front of me. And to me, this is more real sound. I hear where things are. But I've had a lot of students do it, and I've done it too, is if I'm a student on the line, I need to hear what's going on behind me, I can actually put them on backwards. And to me, it, fe it sounds weird, because I'm looking at the sound and it feels like it's coming from behind me. But if I'm the student on the line, I can hear everything behind me really well because they have a little directional microphone in them. So that's a really nice feature of these. And the other really great feature is the price. Can't believe the price you get out of these for 40 bucks. Um, they're not the best ones on the market, I'll tell you the truth. They're good. For 40 bucks, they're amazing. I've had Peltors, and I have another set of Peltors that I wear all the time. I do too. That were... Well, so I've had, this is my third set of Peltors right here. These are the inside the ear ones, and they're probably dirty, nasty, gross, because I hardly ever clean them. But 
they are itty bitty you can see them and they go in the ear and they have two settings that's it they have loud and soft that's all the adjustment you get and you get to see them i love to use these when i'm running a rifle because it doesn't get any in the way of my cheek i can wear helmets i can wear hats i can do anything i want and they're just really small you can see them so they're not like super duper i mean you can see it right there it's not like it's this super duper thing but they do enough so i can hear and then i don't see i don't hear the gunfire i like that um they do get nasty ear waxy you got to clean them out all the time um do clean them they're disgusting but um the <laughs> these are kind of cool they come in their own little case they have their batteries internal in them the case actually has triple a batteries in here or double a batteries sorry three double a batteries that i've replaced um once in two or three years and they just charge the they charge them when they're in the case so i'll take them off during the day put them in the case during lunch or something and they're not as comfortable they're a little bit heavy for earplugs they're not as great and then the one biggest downside to these things is four hundred dollars is what those go for so there's other companies game walkers coming out with something that's about the same um, i have a student that's been using one of those for a while she i don't know what happened she was upset she broke one of them and the batteries went dead pretty quick on them so that was kind of a pain uh, the other peltors i've had i really like their peltor contacts um, they start at like three hundred dollars and they're about this size they run on double a batteries amazing headphones and i had one set for about eight years and i had the other set for about six years um man if you can afford them they're the best thing on the market i loved the original compacts because anything tingy i could hear i would be <laughs> marines they would they were designed to fit on your helmet so i'd wear them on my helmet i could hear a safety on a rifle clicking off at like 50 paces people are like how you do that with your earplug because everything that was metallic was really really tingy in them they weren't a perfect uh microphone and actually the microphones in these are probably a little better they sound more realistic yeah, instead of good. tingy but i like that tingy because anything metal on metal i could hear forever so i actually wore those in combat for a long time i wore the other ones when i was a contractor um they spent so they spent years overseas and they kind of wore out on me and i just haven't replaced them for another three or four hundred bucks i really want to try these little bot these ones so i bought these if you want the best stuff on the market, go with the Peltors, the Comtax, or these. if you want the in-ear ones, those are the best, but you're going to pay three, four, five, six hundred dollars $600. Um, if you want the electronic ones from Comtax that have the, the microphone stuff in them, they're $600, $700, bucks, really expensive. These, $40 bucks to $80, bucks, they actually have a plug in them for a normal 3.5 millimeter, anything you plug into your phone or whatever stuff so you could actually plug any anything you want in there i've seen guys 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 at the range my favorite guys he had one of these he taped one of the little bluetooth connectors on there and had a little tiny cord that would go from his bluetooth connector into there like the one you'd use in the stereo for your car and then he bluetooth stuff to his from his phone to his headphones so he could sit on the range and listen to music through his headphones while he's working the electronics still work in there while you're listening to music they're pretty cool i've known guys that have taken flights with them they'll turn the put these on put them on over put their music in then they can listen to them on flights so they don't have to do anything kind of funny on an airplane listen to these but <laughs> um really for the 45 bucks these howard light impact sound these you're not going to find a better ones too i'll put some links to amazon and stuff in them where you can get them um at this point in the game for 40 bucks you should not be going to a range without some electronic ear pro of some kind if you want to buy something better than this i understand but for 40 bucks i have two sets of these now i loan them out i bought some of the peltor bottom of the line ones for my kid that were like 30 bucks um i bought them because they were smaller it's my kid he's nine his head's still pretty small um, they don't work half as good as these and they were like 35 bucks so for the same price but they were smaller so i'm i just went back and bought another one of these sets that's the set my wife uses i, I can't say enough great things for the price uh, about these howard light impact sports Anything else you want to say, Bob? No, that's it. You covered it pretty well on uh, ear protection. Hey, look, I can get him to stand up. So that's a plus. <laughs> and actually, we didn't say the last plus actually on these is that they actually fold up. Yeah, oh, they go that's in right. my range bag. Yep. And I never worry about them breaking. Other other ear pro that I've had that don't fold up that stay out like this. Um, I put them in the bag, they get sat on, they get crushed, they get bent, that little metal bar in there gets bent. Yeah. So, um, like I said, I can't say enough good things about these Howard Lights. To me, they're pretty comfortable. I can wear them all day without any problems. Um, the only problem I've ever had is like six or seven hours into 
of the day, I hear them beep beep and go off. Yes. And I have to reach up. But the pelt doors do that too. My pelt doors turn off, I'll hear them beep beep, and they'll they'll turn themselves off in a minute. All, but all you gotta do is reach up and push the button. So just make sure you get good quality ear protection is so important, especially if you do a lot of shooting and a lot of training like we do. Very, very important. And uh, that's all we want to say about ear protection right now. We want to kind of transition into some uh, loading some magazines, right? Yep. Okay. So let's talk about loading some magazines. Um, so we all load magazines all the time, constantly. What do you do? You thumb them in, you thumb them out, right? Most of the time it's in and hopefully you're shooting them out. Uh, man, my thumbs get tired after about three or 400 rounds. That's the way I am. I'm getting old, I don't know. Me too. Glock always comes with, uh, hey, you got your self-defense ammo. They always come with one of these stupid things right here and they kind of work. I mean, they they really take the pace of my thumb pushing down on the round to push in a little bit. So instead of using my thumb like that and getting stuck, I use my thumb here and I can push down and it starts and then I have to come up and push it in. It, they're kind of a pain. And you know every company sends you Ruger sends you something like that, Glock sends you something like that. Mm -hmm. But then they only work on a Glock because this one, well, it fits on my Smith and Wesson, but it won't fit in there. So they don't really work on everything. Me and Bob use the same company. It's this Uplula brand loader, and I don't even know what they call this thing, but they make a, a large one and a small one. The large one works on everything that's double stacked. The only thing it doesn't work on is really 22s and like 32s. So anything from here's my M and P down to I bet it'll look, work on this one too mm -hmm. the Ruger LCP2 yeah it'll, it would work on one of those not not as well but just about any magazine their design here's how you use one let me give you the let me give you the trick here see it's spring loaded they open and close like a clamshell if I hold it like I'm gonna grip it like I'm using it as a weight and and I push it in and then push it down against the mag it actually pushes that little lip in there and then I can actually, it's easier if you put it against the table. I just drop the round in there and it's in the mag and I let it go, let go with my hand and it's in the mag. So push it down again, put the next one in. Bob's got like 15 of them in there by the time I explain how to do it. They're super easy, super nice. Um, I carry, I mean, I have two of them sitting on the table. I painted this one all nasty green. No, they don't come like that. They come in nice black and some other colors. I painted this one nasty green so I know which one it, it which one's mine. I send this one to people at the range. When I see people like halfway through the day, they're starting to slow down. I'll just toss them one of these. Hey, use this. Oh, and I show them how to use it. You got to show them how to use it. Once I show them how to use it and they do it, it is the easiest thing ever. It's super nice. It keeps your thumbs from getting up. Um, it's one of those things, they're 20 bucks, so they're expensive. The Glock one is like two bucks, but it is really one of the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. This one is probably, I'm trying to think, when we started teaching, I think I bought this one. Yeah, so, so that's like about seven or eight years ago. Seven or eight years ago, and this one, you can see the color wars off of it, but that's not the manufacturer's fault because I took a spray paint, spray can in a green color and sprayed it so I know which one was mine. Yeah. Yeah, so, but they last forever. They don't break, they're super easy. Once you learn how to use them, they're the easiest thing in the world. And generally everybody that I show them to and actually have them use it, they just go buy one for 20, 25 bucks, 30 bucks. It was my favorite upsell when I worked for a gun shop. Oh, you have, you have a problem loading your mags? You need one of these, yeah. you know? And then I pull one out and show them how to use it. And voila, and I think that's why I bought my second one is that it's at the gun shop and I had like three people that want to buy one. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy one anyway. So I cut it open, bought that one right there and show them how to use it and then sold like the last five of them I had on the rack to the people standing there. They are really the best thing out there on the market. Yeah, they are. And the last thing I want to say about these is like, let's say you go to a training class and the instructor says, okay, for this next drill, you're going to need three fully loaded magazines. Well, you know, if you got a Glock, M and P, X, D, whatever you're you're training with, and you got 15, 17, 18 round mags, you can load up those three mags really quickly and really fast, and you can sit down and start having a drink of water while everybody else is, you know, thumbing theirs into the magazines and, like Ben said, uh, spraining their thumb by the end of the two-day class. So well worth it. Ben has two. I might have to consider uh, picking up another one because I have more than one range bag. So one for each range bag. And you can see me doing it right there. It takes longer for me to get them out of the box here than it does actually to put them in the mag. So I just want to say thanks for watching us on this episode. 
Bob and I really appreciate it, even though he walked out to talk on his phone real quick because work still happens. We still have real jobs, real lives, real everything. We really appreciate you watching. Go to modernhandgunners.com, leave us a comment on YouTube, on this video, wherever you are. Uh, leave us a review on iTunes. I, iTunes. 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 <laughs> iTunes, and this is where you're getting this. And then go check out our other shows. My show is Modern Self Protection, and I'm over at modernselfprotection.com. And that I do real, more real life and more actual self defense stuff that you can use today in your life to keep you safe. Bob, you got your own show. I'm Bob Main, Handgun World Podcast, just good common sense uh, podcasting about firearms. Find me at handgunworld.com or also on iTunes. Thanks for watching.